Hi, we're at Key Digital Cedia 2012 showing you the brand new KD HD 8x8BT. This is the Digital IQ series of HDMI matrix switchers and it is the most feature packed and flexible matrix switcher in the marketplace. You're going to find out why. First and foremost, it is a card slot configurable product. You can have a generic 8x8 configuration or you could have any configuration that totals 16, meaning 6x10 is possible, 10x6, 7x9, anything from 1x15 to 15x1, meaning that if your client's application requires more than 8 inputs, more than 8 outputs, you don't necessarily have to jump into that 16x16 product category. Okay, so that adds in itself a lot of value. Now, built in to the KD HD 8x8BT, we actually have two sub matrices, if you will. You have an eight slot total configuration, generically a four by four, but custom configurations totaling eight could be three by five, by five by three, et cetera, et cetera. And a 12 slot configuration, generically a six by six, maybe a 10 by two, maybe a seven by five or five by seven. And we will just populate these card slots into the chassis for you, depending on the SKU that you purchase. Okay, now as we take Take a look at all of the connectivity on the matrix here. You see that there's a lot. Each and every card slot features an HDMI connection. On your input side here, we are looking at a generic 8x8. So you see the first half is, uh, is uh, populated with input cards. On the output cards, you not only have your HDMIs, but you also have your RJ45s. We have HD Base T technology integrated into KD HD 8x8BT. That's where the BT comes from after all. And actually these ports, both HDMI and the RJ45, are simultaneously active with the same signal at the same time. So our Cedia installers are using them to go, say for example, via Balan, the KD CAD HD 500 RX, out of the RJ45 port to your local, uh, to your output zone, perhaps the home theater zone, connecting to the projector with the receive balance, while simultaneously utilizing the HDMI port to connect right there locally in the rack to an AV receiver, sending that multi-channel audio format, if you wish, or to local monitors, etc., etc. Now. What else we look at on the connectivity here? The RCA connections for audio. Now you have RCAs on both the input and the output side with KD HD 8x8BT, and each of which has some succinct advantages. Okay, we start off by talking about the output side. On the outputs here, your left and right analog uh, RCAs can also be configured as a digital PCM. We feature volume control. We feature multi-band EQ, and we also feature lip sync delay that's uh, controllable up to 600 milliseconds, in fact. Very important because these pieces are, these connections are ideal for integrating with multi-channel amplifiers, uh, multi-channel uh, di uh, distributed audio systems, for example. And as you know, when you go from one piece of uh, equipment to the next, you may encounter some lip sync issues and, and th those sorts of, uh, those sort of, hills, if you will. Well, here you're able to conquer those without any issues. Now, on the output side, excuse me, on the input side, your RCAs present a huge, huge advantage. The CDA dealers for Key Digital uh, come to us and they presented us with a very common uh, problem. That problem is, I have a multi-zone video system and some of the zones, say the master bedroom, the uh, theater room supports multi-channel audio formats, 7.1 for example. However, not every zone in the system supports multi-channel audio. And they present us with this uh, question, um, what can we do to compensate for that, uh, to, to create a solution for that, to integrate these sorts of systems? Because right now what they have to do is either purchase a separate audio matrix, or they have to simply cater to uh, the highest common denominator, which would be two-channel audio, because you have your displays on the wall that only support two-channel, or the speakers in the ceiling only supporting two-channel, okay? Now, the RCAs on the input side present to you 
AudioFlex. This is Key Digital's solution to the problem we presented there, where you not only have HDMI uh, for video and audio on the input side, you also have RCAs. Okay, now AudioFlex is a full independent matrix, so video and audio can be matrix totally independently. And let's paint a picture for you here that uh, your output zone number one supports multi-channel audio formats. Your zone number one has an AV receiver, and say your Blu-ray player is connected to uh, slot number one, okay? And if you would like to view that Blu-ray player, uh, video plus 7.1 audio format, your 7.1 capable zones could say, select video from HDMI on slot number one, and audio from HDMI on slot number one. Now let's say that your two-channel zone is perhaps output number eight, and it, again, only supports two-channel audio, now you're able to do a switching command that says we're going to choose video from slot number one on the HDMI, audio from slot number one on the RCA. And I would suggest it be configured as a speed if uh, digital audio because there are some sources out there that will disable the left-right analog uh, output if you're at a, such a high audio format such as 7.1. But the speed if uh, for all of the gear we have in the rack at Key Digital in the in the laboratories in Mount Vernon, New York, speed if you go into your digital audio output setup menu, you set it to two channel and you are golden. So this is a full independent matrix of video from audio. So if you have applications where you'd like to take video from s source one, audio from source four, five, six, doesn't matter on the HDMI or the RCAs, those are all fully configured and you could all, uh, it, it is all achievable through the switching commands. Now let's introduce you to the integrated systems portion of what the HD base T, KD HD 8x8 BT uh, matrix switcher offers. This is matrix layer number three and four three and four. Um, <coughs> IR and RS-232. Just like for video and audio, you can, uh, with the matrix switcher, identify a destination and a source, right? My destination, output one, is selecting source number uh, eight, okay? Uh, something along those lines. With the HD 8x8BT and the integrated systems products from Key Digital, you could integrate with a Key Digital master controller, KDMC 2500, for compass control, and we now feature 3.5 millimeter ports here that can act as an IR or an RS-232 input and an output in fact. They have bi-directional channels. So you give us three control ports from the control system. Here's what, uh, what we would suggest. Give us the RS-232 to control the matrix itself. You could even control it via IP as well of course. And now your second connection is an IR connectivity, an IR signal from your master controller and the third uh, connection is an RS-232 and these are going to be our source connections for, to control any peripheral IR and RS-232 device. Here's our source and now we could say our destination perhaps is a uh, output port on the CAD HD 500. You have 3.2, 3.5 millimeter ports so you can have that bi-directional IR. We have RS-232 on a DB9, so you could control the devices in the output zones actually up to 600 feet away using this product. We're sending video, audio, IR, RS-232 all over a single CAT6 shielded. Okay, now just because these 3.5 millimeter ports here are on an input card, doesn't mean that this has to be an input for control. You could actually come out locally in the rack, say with an IR flasher, and uh, control your Blu-ray player in the rack, and the integrated systems approach, this control routing functionality of the digital IQ, uh, KDHD 8x8BT, actually gives you in a generic configuration 32 control ports that we are adding to your control system. The key digital compass control recommended, of course. 32, how do we get to that number? You got 16 3.5 millimeter ports on each of the 16 card slots. And in a generic 8x8 matrix situation, you potentially have eight balance with an RS-232 with IR on each balance. So two control ports per balance times 8 equals 16 plus another 16. 32 control ports we're adding to your control system without spending a single penny on an additional master controller or expansion unit, etc., etc. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg, my friends, and we'd really like you to go to keydigital.com, go to the product page for KDHD 8x8BT, open up the owner's manual, okay, and you could read more on how you could enable this and many more cool features. Go to www.keydigital.com.